Underground Bunker. This is your proprietor. Saturday afternoon. Lovely late afternoon in California. Decided to go for a little bike ride and I thought I'd uh, bring up a couple of points with you on our day off today. Um, I just wanted to make a comment about some stuff I've seen online trying to read the faces of people in the courtroom at the Danny Matheson trial. I got to tell you that uh, it's really kind of useless to try to figure out what the jury's thinking by looking at the Masterson family or the witnesses. Uh, and especially someone that just comes into the court for a day and says, ooh, the Masterson family looks stressed. I'm sorry, that's bullshit. I've been there for three and a half weeks now. And if I was a defense attorney, and you know the issues I have with some of the people in that family. But if I was a defense attorney, and I had to defend somebody of such horrible crimes as three forcible rapes against three different women, you could do a lot worse with a client than somebody like Danny Masson and his family. They have been well behaved. They have not showed any kind of emotion. They've been friendly with each other. Danny's been polite to the judge. Sorry, that was kind of a steep climb up here. The reason I wanted to bring this up is that I'm sitting in the back row during this trial with a bunch of journalists, really, really good journalists, who have been covering courts and trials for many more years than I have. And that's why I like to get their thoughts on how the trial is going. And yeah, some of them, some of them tell me they think the prosecution is doing a great job, that the women have been terrific, have held up well under cross-examination, and they tell me they think Danny Masters is in big trouble. But I talked to some other journalists who have just as much experience, just as many credentials. They tell me the prosecution's been a disaster, that Mueller's been a joke, that the women are unbelievable, and they are expecting Danny Masterson to walk out of there. Now, the truth is, nobody knows. No one has any idea what those jurors are thinking about. Of course we're going to speculate. Of course we're going to try to read faces. But I'm telling you, we really don't know how this trial is going to go. And that's why I'm in there every day, all day, writing down everything people say so you can look it over. And then when the verdict is read, then we'll find out. But I just wanted to say something about that because I don't want you to think, I saw somebody in the comments today said, oh, now that that expert's testified, it's over. Please, that is not the case at all. We just don't know. We do know that Scientology has come in for a serious drubbing, and there's been a lot of press from it, and there's going to be a lot more, I think. Got a helicopter. And, uh, well, I just want you there with me all the way, and we'll find out what happens then. Just be prepared. It could go either way. It really could. So, um, anyway... The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is that Substack has been putting this thing in my face every day for several days now about starting this new chat. Here, press this, press that. And I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention today and I went ahead finally and did it. And it sent you all a message to join us on a chat. Well, it turns out, uh, and I really apologize to our Apple users because it's all ready for you. But for those of us on Android, it's not ready quite yet. And I can't start any new threads yet. So I, I will as soon as I possibly can. I'm sorry for the premature message, but I think it's going to be a pretty cool thing for our subscribers to have our own private chat space. So we'll get that going as soon as we can. 
I've got a couple of really cool stories I'm working on. Uh, I've got a great new court document for you to get for you to see. Uh, I'm going to pick out the best parts. Uh, I don't know if that may be tomorrow, maybe the next day. But uh, we'll be back in court on Monday. We've got some motions to look at. And like I said, we just don't know yet. So please, let's, let's just like cool it with the body language stuff, all right? <laughs> oh, here we go. Now I'm going to get a lot of complaints. All right, from Griffith Park, this is your proprietor signing out.